Hello everyone. Uh, sorry it's been so long, but we've been quite busy. Uh, we just wanted to go ahead and finish off this grow bag right here. And we wanted to show you what you have to do for the final step before you can get your mushrooms coming out of it. And what we need to do is, is you can go down to Target or anywhere. This is an 18.8 quart uh, storage container. Target. You can use these over and over again. And what you're going to want to do is just drill some holes just a couple inches up from the bottom. About two to three inches is what I do. And then I just drill some more up here at the top. And we're going to make uh, what's called a mono tub or a monolithic tub. And wh what we're going to do is the, the whole, everything behind this is that the mushrooms need oxygen. They need a fresh supply of oxygen. So the carbon dioxide will settle toward the bottom and we're trying to get it to go out of these holes and we're trying to have the oxygen come through the top and kind of press it out and make it go out. So uh, we can't just leave the holes open because we're trying to keep humidity inside there as well. So what we're going to do is, and with these tubs, run your drill backwards. If you run it in reverse instead of trying to drill right through it, and even after you do do that, sometimes, you know, they're going to crack a little bit, which is fine. And you can, what I do is just put paper tape over them. This is Micropore paper tape, which you can buy at any store, or you can just, you can order these larger size right here on Amazon. And let me just get this thing to start going. Here we go. And then what I do on these is I just put a strip right here to cover up all the holes. Also, it keeps the, the humidity in and everything, but also it keeps germs and everything out of there. Let's it breathe without letting a bunch of contamination come in. So quickly what I will do is just tape all my holes and depending on how much or what you're trying to grow you can just buy these tubs and what I do is I mean these tubs have grown a lot of mushrooms we just put we just wash them out with bleach and make sure that there's not any kind of contaminant left in there of course before we started the video we sprayed everything down with alcohol to just make sure our surfaces are clean and everything So now, I mean, depending on where you live and what you're doing, uh, there could be a lot of humidity in the air already. Maybe you might not need as many holes, but if you're if they dry out real fast, you might need more. And now you see how there's that crack right there. What I'll do is just come back to it and take one more piece of micropore tape and most of our tubs don't have cracks in them, but this one does. No need to waste it. Okay, so now we have it set up in this fashion right here to where we have our holes drilled. And I just drill them about an inch apart and come all the way down. For here in Colorado, the humidity, everything, this one seems to work pretty good. And I just drill these and I bring those ones down and I just do three on the top. So that's what you should be looking like, about like that. So what we're going to do is take some Paralyte because we're going to need more moisture and just put the rest of the bag in there real quick get rid of that alcohol before like I said before we started off by cleaning everything down with alcohol and I don't know we have a couple cups in there and then what we're gonna do is 
take a couple cups of water and just add it in there. And what we want is for it not to have much standing water, to just really put enough in there to where, you know, the perlite can absorb it and And that's pretty good. It's decent. So <coughs> we're going to want to separate, get us a little barrier going on. This aluminum foil. So we just take one piece of aluminum foil, put it into the top. And, and then you could just get one of these. This is like a little, just a grill. You could get it at Target, a, a wire mesh that people use for cooking and whatnot. For the bigger ones, we get, we use actually the uh, cooking, the ones that we clean over and over. This one right here is not one that we'll clean over and over very much. Okay, so now we're left with, right here is the aluminum foil on top of the hydrated perlite with the grill that's on top. And now here we have the mushroom bag that we've been growing and this one we probably could have taken it out a few weeks ago but like I said we've been so busy and this is going to be the first time that the mushrooms really have a breath of fresh air the mycelium does so we're going to go ahead and cut this off open it up it all looks really great really good You can, right when you open it, you just start getting that right, nice, real, the mushroom smell, the earthy smell. And as you can see, this one, the, the mushrooms have definitely just totally, it's a brick. You know, what we started out with and what it is now, it's a total brick. And these mushrooms will be very happy. They haven't, they were in the box the whole time, so they haven't been introduced to light or anything like that yet. And what we'll do is take this brick and we'll sit it right here in the middle. Or if you're doing multiple grow bags, you know, you could set it back and you could probably get three of them, two to three of them in one of these tubs this size pretty easily. And what we'll do now is maybe just give them a little bit of a fresh drink. Just a little bit of moisture on top. And now we'll just come back and use our lid, put our lid on the top. And then we'll just take, if you use masking tape, it's much better just because the, if you use duct tape or some kind of other crazy tape, you're gonna have to end up opening this thing as it needs maybe air or as it needs more moisture if you can see that it's getting dry and then after you start getting mushrooms if you have the time you can actually open it and probably fan and mist it about three times a day what you want to do is really get the carbon dioxide out of the tub that's in there because they do they're not plants so they definitely need 
they breathe in oxygen and give off carbon dioxide and getting the carbon dioxide out of the tub is definitely important but as you get to doing it more and more you can get kind of a sweet spot where you can figure out how to make your FAE or free air exchange holes the correct size depending on the humidity of where you live to where you can pretty much get mushrooms before you ever have to open it glove ripped but afterwards to this point it's very it's built up immunity to the whole world you know we can if it gets a little bit of air it's not going to hurt it at all you actually have to give it some air and it's fully colonized everything and it's sitting in there and it has a it's built up to where it can survive and thrive and so now that we have the tub we gotta we're gonna tape these down because it's going to make the humidity it's going to start to evaporate and condense and what we want is for that moisture to come up and go back down onto the mushrooms and to have it about 90 percent humidity in there we're going to get that with about this and then from right here what we do is we just put them under a grow light for 12 hours a day in an environment where they have the 12 hours a day on the grow light and then after that 12 hours of darkness and keep it at about 75 degrees and we'll have mushrooms in about a uh, week, two weeks. So we will go ahead and make another video then. Thank you to everyone that's come by and uh, that saw us on Craigslist. The website is almost up. Uh, a lot of people don't like mushroom people, and we we're just trying to create a website that where you could use it very easily and use your cards easily and just to do all that. So we just wanted to once again to say that we appreciate everyone that's come through and supported us and gotten some grow bags and and we're here to help you get to growing so thanks and have a good day